Hey guys, so what determines the addictiveness of a food or the level of uh, the addictive quality of a food, let's say? It turns out it is the level of processing that that food goes through or foods go through. So basically what that means is the more ingredients in a given food are, or when you look at that ingredient list, the, the more addictive it's going to be or it's going to show up at. So I'm not talking about a home cooked meal that has 15 different ingredients because five are spices, eight are veggies, and then there's a couple proteins. Not talking about the home cooked stuff, but more so stuff that comes in a package. And when you look on the ingredient list at the store, it might have you know 20, 30, 40 ingredients in, in one food product. It turns out that pizza is the most addictive food kind of overall across the board. And it's because it has a ton of ingredients in it. So basically, when you're looking at um, the ingredient list on a given product that you're buying, the fewer ingredients, usually the better, and the less you're gonna eat because it just provides a few less palate experiences for the tongue. It doesn't switch stuff uh, or switch stuff up quite as much and it's just not as rewarding so the brain doesn't get you know fired up and uh, wanting more immediately so kind of a fun fact pizza turns out to be kind of across the board the most addictive food out there but with that framework in mind um, thinking about how the more ingredients uh, equals the the more addictive or the higher addictive quality of the food so you can kind of engineer your food choices around that if you have any questions around it, um, hit me up and I hope you got something out of this guys. See ya.